in a way there's a connection between blood sugar and californication, but in another way we kind of started fresh, you know. Um, yeah. I, I certainly had lost all the momentum as a musician that I had during the time of blood sugar by the time we started writing californication. I was starting from scratch as a guitar player. My technique was at an all-time low, and, um, and I was doing the best uh, that I could do, and I, I'm real proud of it. Yeah. Uh, and so you feel like you've been playing catch-up in a way? Well, not really. I mean, I, I, no, I feel like um, I just went another direction on, on Californication rather than being inspired by stuff like um, Jimi Hendrix, which at the time I just didn't have that strength in my fingers to be able to be, to sound like Jimi Hendrix at that time, whereas on Blood Sugar I was, my fingers were very strong and that's, you know, one of the main people that I was taking a lot of inspiration from. On Californication, I chose to focus on guitar players like Matthew Ashman from Bow Wow Wow and Bernard Sumner from Joy Division because uh, those, these people were within my technical means at that time. And to me, they're equal to Jimi Hendrix because I don't think of anybody as being like the great god of guitar playing. I, I think of all guitarists as being all good guitarists that I love as I love them all equally, you know. Yeah. Wow, well, so, so I felt like I could do something just as beautiful with my playing just by being influenced by people who had less technical means at their disposal. And, you know, in a lot of ways I like what I did on Californication better just because I was really doing the best that I could possibly do. Whereas on Blood Sugar, um, I think for what I was capable of at that time, I think I did the worst I could have done.